alkimikoreen. Make the elixir. Noin, nyt saa tehtyä elixiri. Nyt tuntuu... ...hyvältä. Ja itse ne Ambros jää myös. Ai siinä oli Ambros. Mä oon mennyt ihan sokeena ohi näköjään. Tuli ehkä vähän massiivinenkin. Okei. Okay. Aika jännä, jos tänne spawnaa tosiaan niinku tunkkuihin lisää, lisää tota, vastustajia sen jälkeen, kun se kuesti on tehty. No joo, mua ei haittaa. Niin joo, tässä tapahtuu niin kappale muu myöskin vaihtuu. Varmaan siinä vaiheessa tulee niin kuin uusi miehitys sinne, kun kappale vaihtuu. Se muuten olisikin todennäköisin. Jos Vinruuttia saa rahalla, niin mä kyllä tuun täällä käymään uudemman kerran. Tässä on ties kuinka pitkään nyt etitty sitä, eikä ole löytynyt. Jos se vielä pitäisi kuulua sen ääni, niin... Ja mä en viittis niin kun kulkee sinne, mistä peli alko. Vaan ettiäkseen niinku gynruutteja. Ehkä se on pakko tehdä jossain vaiheessa. Tietysti toi nyt selittää, jos sitä myydään kaupassa, että miksi sitä ei ole maastossa. Ah, kulin ohi tuosta. Farmitausta. Ei kuulostanut ihan... Se oli tosi vähän outo se lääkekin. Set us free. They'll set us all free. Uh, okay. Interesting. Sillä on jonkinlainen...
vaiva. Muuttuu vaan se. Who? Oh, you. How did you get in? And do you have the potion? What? Why? What? Oh, you. I see. And now you're asking yourself why I locked her in the cell, aren't you? It's these episodes that she gets sometimes. The traveler said that the belly worms cause them. Nothing dangerous, of course, but she loses her temper sometimes. So I put her down there for her own protection. But it'll get better now that you have the elixir. Well, I echo. The... Ah, nonsense. The traveler examined her and said it's belly worms. Now give me the potion, will you? I'm not paying you to talk. Yes. Yes, that's what I think. What do you know? Hmm? You're just a mercenary. A bloody leg breaker. So quit talking about things you don't understand. Keep it in kaapussa tosi. Put to sleep. You're... You're joking. No. No. I won't let you touch her. I won't. Pystyykö mä... Liian voimakas. No, teknisesti ottaen sä oot nyt kiiperiä lyönyt, joten... Tämä ei mennyt nyt hirveän sankarillisesti kyllä. Tosin mä voin käyttää näitä... Tää, tää pyrkii olemaan dark fantasiaa ja sitähän se onkin sitten. Ei ollut hirveen sankarillinen tehtävä tämä näin.
Yes, it is. Master Tyrus, my foster father. He was half Kyranian, as you might have guessed already. Some words just stuck around. There you are. There were just too many. We did our best, madame, and... You did jack shit. That's what you did. Three of our people are dead, and now the goddamn entrance is blocked up. This is fucking unbelievable. Get out of here, now. I need to think. Hmm. That... Doesn't sound good. Yes? You? Out of all the goddamn people in this goddamn land, you are the last person I expected to see here. Well, congratulations. Though I don't have the slightest idea what good getting wasted on weird droge can possibly do. Nightshade Elixir isn't just some weird droga. It's a centuries-old recipe that was already being used by the first vassals. Maybe you should have known that before judging our traditions. Well, now I do. And just who exactly are you? Kalia Sakaresh, Keeper of the First Sigil. I was exalted together with the one you call the Prophetess. Sakaresh? You're the girl from the village. Maybe. Have you heard of me? Well, there are some interesting rumors revolving around you. Let's put it that way. But who am I to complain? Two Keepers are certainly better than those idiots from the Guard. Actually, you've come at just the right time. You'll be surprised, but I've found myself in almost exactly the same trouble as in Alt Rashengrad. Seems I have a knack for that kind of shit. Almost. This time it was bandits. They ran in here about two hours ago and charged through us like we were bloody beginners. Well, that's the problem. Do you see that hallway over there? It leads down into the ruin. 
And now, guess what those fuckers did? They dashed right into it, and somehow succeeded in accidentally activating some kind of mechanism that locks down the whole passage. Now, anyone who gets too close to it gets roasted like a chicken. So now we can't go down, and they can't come up. No, they didn't wear the robes that the ones in Alt Rationgrad did. And they also seem kind of unorganized to me. And scared, as if they were running from something. My guess is that they were trying to hide from something and thought the ruin was deserted. We believe so, yes. That is what makes the whole thing so annoying. <laughs> Somehow, yes, but would you place the button to deactivate the trap right next to the door it's supposed to protect? We need to find another way down. But at least we've got a clue. Some kind of hidden entrance. We're still stuck getting it open, though. Come, I'll show you. Who knows? Maybe you'll see something in the past that might help us. Don't bother me. Not now. Here we go. And before you ask, our dead buddy on the platform was already there when we got here. No idea what's keeping his body from decaying. It looks like some kind of magic to me. So I'd say just take a look around. I'm sure the bells have something to do with the riddle. You all right? You look pale. You did? Then this mage woman was right. What did you- How was I right? How was I right? Seriously? By the prophet's ass, that's, um, convenient. But who am I to complain? So, what's the deal with those bells? Be my guest. Just make sure that you don't accidentally collapse this place, okay? Try again. Yeah, that's all right. 
Yes, that's it. Now I'll leave. What the fuck? Oh, What's blazes.
just knew from the start that it was a mistake to help that farmer. Did you see what she did to Reiko? He just dissolved. How is that even possible? How the fuck would I know? Carrick will find the way I got to the first. We can deal with the steel crabs. I'll bet my balls that they have enough money with them to make all this <coughs> shit worthwhile again. <coughs> The bite of a flea. <laughs> Thank you.
for that.
bullshit. I told her not to fall for it. That's just bullshit. I told her not to fall for it. There we go. That trick has yet to disappoint me. So what do you say now, you piece of shit? I'll make you pay for what you... Well, that's just great. Another weapon-wielding bitch. Put down your weapon. I don't want to hurt you. Oh, is that so? All of your men are dead. And even if you manage to get past us, there are dozens of guards further up. So put down your weapon, or you will regret it. Such determination. All right, then. Die! As you wish. wish. <laughs> Are you... are you all right? I... It, it's nothing. Did he hurt you? Can you walk? What is this, an interrogation? As I see it, I just saved your damn life. So why don't you do me a favor and keep the questions to yourself? <sighs> I... I'm sorry, this is... It's too much right now. We'll talk about it once we get back to the temple. Now, come on, we should push forward. I fell, thank Malthus, into a thicket farther down the ruin. It was some kind of machine room, at least that's what it looked like to me. And luckily enough, that's also how the traps in the entrance are being controlled. I tried to deactivate them. We'll see if it worked. Anyway, do you see the camp down there? We should take a look at it.
gold. And I doubt it's the fruit of honest labor. So that... What this was all about? They fled here to protect their loot? We should bring this to the Order. Maybe we can find out who they stole it from. No! You can't do that, please. Stay right there. Who are you? I'm not one of them. Please don't hurt me. I... Oh, by the righteous path. What did I get myself into? Alice. Alice Summerstone. I'm just a simple man, a farmer by me path. I have two daughters, me woman and a little farm girl just a few miles from Ark. Maybe you know one of me girls. She sells her bread at the market, Mondas de Freiras. Yes, exactly. That's her. My little Serta. Aye, of course. Do you know who Landlord Borek is? He's one of the most influential landlords. Farmer's Coast. Both the Guard and the Order get their food from his lands. What does he have to do with this? Everything. He's a pathless bastard. And all of this, all of this is his fault. I swear it by me name. Why? Because he's a criminal, that's why. <sighs> believe me, I know how that sounds. But it's the truth. You have to believe me. The tolls he collects from his tenants are so high that we hardly have anything left to eat. And those who don't pay get beaten up by his lackeys. But that's not all of it. He also knows the Relata. Aye, who else? They believe themselves above Malthus, above the Holy Path. And they are powerful. Which is also why no one does anything about them. No. No, this money isn't his. I had debts. It all started three years ago, when we had a very bad harvest and I couldn't pay me toll for the first time. Bora gave me a loan, but he said that I'd have to pay interest next time. Well, I think you can figure out the rest. I... I knew from a friend that there was this man in the Undercity, this... Carrick. And he said that he and his men might be willing to help me, if they would get money from it. Apparently, they even had a sense of honor and path-abidingness, if you can call it that. They... they're from a traveling merchant. We ambushed him, and... you know what we did. But I swear by me name, we didn't hurt him. When we had the money, all Sunfire started breaking loose. Some kind of woman appeared, all veiled and dressed in black. And in the wink of an eye, she killed two of Carrick's men. We tried to fight her at first. But then we ran for it, well, and ended up in this ruin. She didn't speak much, but yes, she had dark robes. And she was... different. Unholy. Sorry, I'm, I don't know how to describe her any better. I know. I was there. Carrick was so mad about all that happened with this witch woman, you know? I think he just wanted to get his men to safety, but still, you're right. I was a fool to trust him, and I regret what I did. Me farm and me family, I... Please, it's the right thing to do. If I don't have the money by the next turn of the moon, Borak and his lackeys will change their tune. And I know what that means. Hmm. It's a tough call. I can understand his motivation, but that doesn't change the consequence of his actions. If we let him run, we legitimize his crime, so to speak. You should justify your crime before the tribunal. Explain to them what Boric did, and they might judge you lightly. <laughs> judge lightly? You don't really believe that, do you? They don't care about the why, and even if they do, it doesn't change a damn thing about the fact that my family is lost without this money. Maybe, but it doesn't change that you're at least partially responsible for what happened here. But it's your call. No, but... Oh, damn, damn, damn. What did I get myself into? By the Prophet's ass, you really got them all.
You don't stop surprising me, that's for sure. And neither do you, Keeper Sakuresh. Thanks for deactivating the traps up there. Who's our shackled friend here? He doesn't look like one of the bandits. No, but he's guilty nonetheless. Can you escort him to Ark? To Ark? Sure. Jaquil, Joro, you take care of that. All right then. I'd say if this machine is somewhere in this ruin, it's here. I suggest you two take a look around. We'll cover your back in the meantime.
I suppose we found our machine. At least, what's left of it. Do you feel anything, Saira? With your gift, I mean. Agreed. Maybe we can even take some small parts of it with us right now. The Order will transport the rest to Ark by Myra. Correct. Nothing else possesses that much raw, magical power. Yes? Found something? Let me see. Hmm. Yes, it does indeed. Seems to be some kind of... energy storage? But it's empty. All this energy, it's useless without the Numinos. It works in a way we have not even come close to comprehending, like a cosmic force. Yes? Found something? Yes? Mm, yes, you're right. How is it possible that it moves all by itself? Let's take it with us. Hmm, they look useful. Let's take them to the Chronicum. Hmm, yes, I think you're right. Hopefully we didn't miss anything. Let's go talk to Pegast. Now that was quick. So, what did you find? Well, that's not much of a surprise, considering how long it was down here. And as long as we can reconstruct it, that's alright. I sent some of my men back to Ark. We'll request a caravan to get all the parts back to the temple, and see what we can do from there. Let's just hope it really will help us against this cleansing, whatever it is. As much as I admire Pyrean technology, I don't like the idea of putting our lives in the hands of it. Hmm, let me see. Narmen Hmm, interesting. Truly interesting. What? Seems that this machine was only some kind of prototype. The real one that Pyreans were working on must be somewhere else. Plus, there's also a name for it. The Pyreans called it the Beacon. Hmm, that's poetic. Indeed. Well then, it seems like you and your visions have once again saved the day, Prophetess. There's a lot for us to do now. If you've taken care of your business here, I suggest you head back to Ark and report to Old Oranthiel. What do you think, Saira? Do you want to leave now, or stay a little longer? Good. There you are. Pegast's mages have already told the Grandmaster about our find, and they're waiting for us in the Emporium. Have you heard? Apparently the Blue Islands Coalition sent an emissary here to end her all. Despite the wars. They are bold. You gotta give them that. All that I am saying is that there are more efficient ways to battle this red madness. 
and heathen machines atop the Sun Temple are the last thing that will calm the townsfolk. Maybe. But if this heathen machine is what the Pyreans used to combat the cycle, I want it near. Even if it turns out to be useless, only a fool turns down a chance. Sharim, how long will the reconstruction take? Well, that depends on how many Pyrean mechanics you have on hand that can help us decipher these plans. Just think for once, Aranthiel. How are we supposed to give you an estimation if we don't even know what the finished machine is supposed to look like? We will get to work right away, Grandmaster. But in any case, we're going to need a lot of steel and Pyrean crystals. You will get them. Now get to work. You did excellent work. We will reconstruct this machine no matter the price. Here, this will reward you for your effort. With a beacon and the sigil stone, we now have both a sword and shield against these high ones. That is more than I had hoped for. However, there has also been a disquieting development. I have called in a conclave, and it will take place in a day. Come back then, and use the time to rest. Oh. Huh. You're the one they call the prophet, aren't you? Congratulations. Well, Can I help you? The trial. Yes. Hmm. That's convenient, actually. I think I still owe you an explanation. Yes, but let's talk somewhere else. Come on. So, sorry for all the secrecy. I just didn't want anyone else to listen in. Well, that moment when I neutralized the leader of the bandits in Old Dothalgrad. I'm sure you noticed that I was different then. <sighs> the bandit leader when he lured you into that trap and tried to trick me. You must have noticed there was something unusual about me when I dealt with him. Upset. You choose your words carefully, Saira. I appreciate that. I'll make this quick. There is something about me that you don't know. That no one knows, actually. Do you remember what I told you in the Curarium about the destroyed village? Well, I... I wasn't entirely honest with you. Not all of it, no, and it's true that I don't know how I ended up there. But I remembered something just before I regained consciousness. Some kind of... vague memory. Mm -hmm. A feeling coupled with an image. It's hard to describe because it didn't last very long, but... I saw myself, but I was somehow above the rooftops, as if I flew. Below me, I saw all the chaos. The dead, the fire, the devastated houses, and I somehow felt hot, but from inside, as if my blood was boiling. <sighs> that sounds crazy, doesn't it? I'm sorry, but... I don't know how to describe it better than that. It was something that actually happened, I'm sure of it. But the memory, it was somehow blurred. Like a dream, but a very vivid one. Nothing. I woke up, and from there things happened just as I've already told you. But that's not really what I'm trying to get at. In that memory, when I saw all those dead bodies and all that destruction, I felt... satisfaction. Pleasure. As if all that suffering, all that pain, was the most exhilarating thing I'd ever seen. Well, I didn't know what to make of that memory myself for quite a long time. But then... things happened that made me understand. There is something inside my head, Saira. Some kind of second soul, an entity. Most of the time it sleeps, but there are situations in which it wakes up. 
mostly when something atrocious happens or has happened. Blood, pain, death. Whenever I'm confronted with these kinds of things, it tries to... I don't know how to put it. it tries to take control of me, and then things like Alt to Thulgrad happen. It's never managed to completely take me over, and it hasn't gotten as far as it did in Alt Thulgrad for a long, long time now. But that memory from the village, I think that is what happens when I let myself go completely. If that name seems fitting to you, then yes. But I think we both know these stories about ghosts taking over the living are just stories to scare the common folk. If it helps you, think of it as some kind of... temptation. One that's just waiting for the moment when I am too weak to contain it. Yes, it is immense, Saira. I can feel it every time it is trying to take me over. I don't even want to think about what would happen if I were to give in completely. I figure. Listen, what happened in old Dothulgrad? I never should have let it come to that. But that moment when he charged me, the blood on his sword, I just couldn't contain it. And when I gave in, when I hacked him into pieces, I simply felt so... thrilled. Complete. <sighs> I was naive to believe it would never get that far again. Naive and stupid. But do you see now? This is the reason why I train so hard. Why I always try to control my emotions, no matter what people do or say to me. This creature inside me. It's always on the hunt. And the only way I can keep it at bay is by controlling both my body and spirit 100%. Just one moment of carelessness. That's all it takes. Only Master Tyrus, my foster father, he taught me how to contain it by controlling my thoughts. And he also advised me never to tell anyone about it, which I haven't, until today. I don't know, probably because I was afraid you'd tell someone else about what happened in Old Dothelgrad and that that would raise suspicions. A coward's move, I know, but... It was the best solution I could come up with. I'm sorry. No way that I know of, at least. Who should I ask? The apothecary? There are two ways that would go. Either they would ridicule me, or they would take me seriously and report my condition to the Order. Hey, who be Neither way helps me, and who knows what the Order would do if they found out. Especially as strained as the situation is right now. I don't know. And truth be told, I'm not sure I want to. <laughs> well, what would be the alternative? Transcribe Pyrian books like the Magisters do all day? Or drop out entirely and pour hot water for the Upper City's noblewomen? Look, Saira, as you've already pointed out, there is a chance that this thing inside me is responsible for the massacre in the village. And if that's true, I definitely have a lot of repentance to do, don't you think? And even if it isn't. I want to change things, to make the world at least a little bit better. And yes, I do realize that this means a lot of hardship and hard work for me, but I'm not afraid of that. Do you know why? Because that's what's missing in this world. So many people just talk, 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 and never act, because that would mean that they'd have to actually endure something for what they believe in. Determination alone hasn't helped anyone yet. Let's talk again in a few years, and we'll see if my good intentions have actually produced results. Hmm. I'd like some time by myself now. And thanks for listening.